Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, where's the... Uh, yeah. August 25th, 2019. By this fellow. Wait, okay. There. You know, in 2018, when I actually quit playing Warframe because they did this bait blueprint removal thing and started uh, making the game far more grindy than it ever needed to be I posted something similar <coughs> you know what I don't mind the wall of text that's fine um, let's see here let me go once we were able to buy the bait it was one and done deal and we could create it once and receive 20 or so units of bait from you know you doing the blueprint thing just like this guy says now it cost a hundred standing I did the math back when I quit fucking playing because they made it more grindy and more grindy and more grindy and over a year of playing I watched the game literally go from you know taking um, maybe an hour to get um, a few thousand things worth of stuff to to do what the fuck you needed and you'd have some left over to taking uh, a whole fucking week just to grind for a purchase of uh, 20 units of bait yeah that 20 units worth of bait right there. Yeah. 20 fucking bits of bait. It would take me 15 minutes of fishing. And I would have all the stuff I need. And I'd go and craft the blueprint. And it'd, it'd be boom. One and done. Just like this dude said in that one sentence I went over. And now it's taken 100 standing to buy one piece. Yeah, fuck that shit. That's an entire week of grinding. Even if you're level 30, I mean, uh, mastery rank 30, that's a fucking week of grinding for standing. <laughs> so, you know, that was, uh, that was this dude posting that in August of 25th, 2019. So, it's, it's a fucking new year. So, I decided I'll reinstall it and I'll check for myself. Because they archived this because they don't want to fucking deal with the problem. The problem is there being a bunch of greedy bitches listening to Toral Fjolmstrom. And, hey, Xbox member. Yeah, I'm right there with you, bro. Apparently, we can't have it back. <laughs> you should consider using a line break. Yeah, well, you're not... Um, you fella, you're you're not uh, helping address the issue. You're just being a troll happy little piece of shit. Now this dude or girl, whatever, I, I don't know. This person. Um I'd just give both options to all players. You know what? I agree. Give both options. You, wall of text, me, okay. <laughs> well, dude there, uh, yeah, I, I get that feeling, but don't be a troll-happy bitch about it. Either help address the issue so that it gets fixed for everyone, or, you know, don't be a troll-happy bitch. Go fuck yourself. Hey, why don't we have both? Yeah. Yes, not sure why we don't have both the blueprint and the standing baits. Why not have both? Now this this guy, girl, person, this one's got it going on. Why not both? And when this 50 gigabyte download finishes, I'll go and fuck around and check for myself and 
see if digital extremes actually fix the fucking problem of them listening to a greedy corporate corporatocracy profiteering bitch named Torolf Yermström. Because when I posted something about this in their forums, I get met with all kinds of fuck you uh, troll posting. Because apparently, they're too fucking stupid, and everybody's got their head up their ass, thinking, oh, this game's better than Destiny at the time. Which, yeah, at the time it was. But after it gets so damn grindy, it's just not better. It got worse. So... All my anger and resentment for the bullshit, it's still there. So I'm approaching this with, um, let's just call it extreme caution. I really do hope that they have put it in to where you can do it both ways. You know, get the blueprint or get it with the standing. Of course, it doesn't make much sense uh, gameplay-wise as far as gameplay mechanics go. Uh, for me personally, it doesn't make much sense to have both. But... Um, I mean, you, I thought that the standing was going to be for the Zaws on the planes. Or for the um, custom weapon kits in fucking... Um, we all lift together. That, that's the only thing I can think to call it. So, you know, 2018 is when I stopped playing. So, I've missed quite a bunch of stuff man I decided fuck it before the 2018 Tenocon relay opened which I had actually purchased a fucking ticket for in game because of the fucking absurd overdone level of grind which just pissed me off Seriously. When I started playing Warframe, it went from you spend 15 minutes doing something and you've got enough to get what you want to get done, done, and have a little bit left over for the next thing. And, and since they just kept adding more content, content, uh, it's going to be debatable for some people playing the game. But since they kept adding new skins that they called frames. And they added new um, areas to go and do things in. It doesn't make sense from a gameplay standpoint. Or even a business standpoint. To reduce the reward and increase simultaneously doing these two things. Increasing the level of grind and decreasing the reward for that grind so that they're this far imbalanced it just doesn't make sense especially when you're adding more and more stuff which increases that grind cap even more and yeah I get it there's some youtubers who have you know spent a few hundred thousand fucking dollars buying shit and they just buy a goddamn account that has everything already and you think, oh yeah, we have to give them fucking content. No, dude. They're doing that shit for the fuck's sake of, you know, hey look, I've bought every damn thing. Look at this. This is how this works. They're just doing that to make content for their channel. They're not playing the fucking game like I was. When I was making videos of me actually playing the fucking game. 
and it's just a fucking grind. Last time I played it, that's what it was. A severe fucking grind. Grind doesn't equal game. If I wanted that much of a grind, I'd just play an idle clicker game. And I've got seven of them on my Steam account. And they're fucking free. Hold on. One of them actually went to Xbox. What was that game? Clicker Heroes. Yeah, I checked that one out because I saw Markiplier checking it out. But, hey, I was playing Warframe for two years before Markiplier even was paid to play it. That's why he only did one video. And you could tell in that one video, he just wasn't... He didn't want to be there. He was just more like, why the fuck am I doing this? That's the expression you can see on his face. So what else can I say about it? What else can I say? To let everyone, not just Digital Extremes and the team of developers working on the game, what else can I say to get the point across from the, not the perspective of, of the gamer playing the game, I'm not just a, a fucking consumer or, or a gamer. I'm an individual. I've got the, I've got this thing called uh, unalienable rights. You know, the pursuit of happiness, life, liberty. Those, those aren't the only three. Those are the three mentioned in the Declaration of Independence. And the way it was worded, it was worded so that everyone, in all of existence, has these rights. Okay. Yeah, all you people in other countries on this stupid little planet, go fuck yourself if you think that it's only endemic to America. No, it's pandemic to the whole fucking con... Not... Fucking words. It's pandemic to the whole fucking planet. You fucking cunts. Everyone, including the developers who play the game... You've all got the same basic, irrefutable right to enjoy playing the game however you want to. And that's what I bitched about for a very long time. And then I learned that it was Microsoft who was listening to Tour of Armstrong and being a bitch. Hey, micro fuck. I'm not just a consumer or a customer or a gamer. I'm a fucking shareholder. And with the coronavirus tanking the economy the way it is, it's only a matter of time till I can buy your fucking ass out. So listen to me now, and I won't have to put a bullet in your fucking head for high treason later. Because I fucking will. Because what you're doing is high treason, in accordance with you being in default of the factual document colloquially known as the Declaration of Independence. Go fuck yourself, Microsoft. I will break out the big legal guns on your fucking ass. So listen to me now while I'm not being a big fucking bitch about it. Because there's two options the way this goes. Listen to me now. And I won't fucking kill you for high treason. And that'll be a public execution. You wait to listen to me then? It's gonna get fucking ugly. I'll crucify your goddamn ass in New York Times Square. On fucking globally televised fucking news. Yeah, fuck you. You think you're safe? No, you're fucking not. You think money's gonna help your fucking ass? It ain't. <laughs>